Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer at Christ the King. This is Thursday, November 12th. We begin with the opening sentence from Psalm 43. O oh, send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring you to your holy hill and to your dwelling. The Confession of Sin. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have the Psalm reading and the New Testament lesson. The Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 35. It's found on page 310. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. And fight against those who fight against me. Take up the shield and buckler. And stand up to help me. Bring forth the spear and bar the way against those who pursue me. And say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame who seek after my life. And let them be turned back and brought to confusion who imagine evil against me. Let them be as chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord scatter them. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For they have secretly laid their net to destroy me without a cause. Indeed, without a cause have they made a pit to take away my life. Let sudden destruction come upon them unawares, and the net which they have laid secretly catch themselves. That they may fall into their own trouble. Then shall my soul be joyful to the Lord. I shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, you deliver the poor from those who are too strong for them. Indeed, the poor 
and those who are in misery from those who rob them. Malicious witnesses rise up. They charge me with matters I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good. To the great sorrow of my soul. Nevertheless, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. I prayed with my whole heart as if it had been my friend or my brother. I behaved myself as one who mourns for his mother. I bowed down with heaviness of heart. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Indeed, those who struck me came together against me, and I had no rest. They tore at me and would not cease. When I stumbled, they mocked me exceedingly. And gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on this? Oh, deliver me from the calamities they bring upon me, and my life from the lions. So will I give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among many people. Oh, let not those who are my enemies triumph over me deceitfully. Neither let them wink with their eyes those who hate me without a cause. For their talking is not for peace. But they imagine deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. They open their mouths at me and they say, Aha, aha, we saw it with our own eyes. This you have seen, O Lord. Hold not your tongue then. Be not far from me, O Lord. Awake and stand up to judge my case. Avenge my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. And let them not triumph over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Aha, we have what we want. Neither let them say, We have devoured him. Let them be put to confusion and shame, who rejoice at my trouble. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor, who boast against me. Let them be glad and rejoice, who favor my righteous cause. Indeed, let them say always, Great is the Lord who takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And as for my tongue, it shall be talking of your righteousness. And of your praise all the day long. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Reading for today is from Acts of the Apostles, beginning in the 14th chapter, the 8th verse. Now at Lystra, there was a man sitting who could not use his feet. He was crippled from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, and Paul, looking intently at him and seeing that he had faith to be made well, said in a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And he sprang up and began walking. And when the crowd saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul Hermes, because it was he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates and wanted to offer sacrifice for the crowds. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their garments and rushed out into the crowd, crying out, Men, why are you doing these things? We also are men of like nature with you, and we bring you good news, that you should turn from these vain things to a living God, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all the nations to walk in their own ways. Yet he did not leave himself without witnesses, 
For he did good by giving you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the people from offering sacrifice to them. But Jews came from Antioch and Iconium, and having persuaded the crowds, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered about him, he rose up and entered the city. And on the next day, he went on with Barnabas to Derbe. When they had preached the gospel to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith, and saying that though many tribulations, through many tribulations, we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. And when they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia, and from there they sailed to Antioch where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had fulfilled. And when they arrived and gathered the church together, they declared all that God had done with them, and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And they remained no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Gloria in Excelsis, and that is found on page 107 in the Book of Common Prayer. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create and ask clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day, Proper 27. 
O God, whose blessed Son came into the world, that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his, his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A colic for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll now have a time of intercession and thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, I praise you, I thank you, I worship you, and I ask that your name might be glorified always and in all things. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Thank you for our church congregation. Oh, Lord, I lift up all members of church congregations everywhere, healthy and safe. But Lord, above all, I ask that you would keep them in your will and in your way. Uh, revive us, Lord. Show us the way you would have us go, and may we walk therein. And praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. God, I thank you for the many blessings you have poured so richly over Christ the King and over the members of this congregation. I thank you especially for the blessings you've poured over the ministries we embrace and, and support, um, and especially Kairos, our ministries in prison, um, the outpouring of, the generous outpouring of cards and Christmas cards that are to go into the prisons has been overwhelming. And uh, thank you, Lord, for touching the hearts of people to uh, support those who are locked up and unable to see their families. Um, and, and our other ministries, ministries to youth who are locked up, that they will see a better way, that more than anything, they will see their way to a relationship with Christ. Um, and so I too ask that you help each one of us to find a way to quicken the hearts of others to be interested in finding a way to relationship with you. Show us how to do that, Lord. Give us the words to speak. Um, show us the way to bite our tongues and open our ears to listen and to be a good friend, to be a good Christian friend to others above all. All these things we ask in your name. Our Lord, we give you thanks for our parish. And we give you thanks for our diocese. We pray especially for the finalists for Bishop, uh, Fathers Jack Estes and Stephen Ty. We ask you to bless them. Bless this evening, the final deanery virtual walkabout uh, with the churches in the El Paso area. We pray, Lord, for the upcoming election of our next bishop, which is one month from today, December 12th. We pray, Lord, for that election and all the logistical things that go on behind the scenes to make that possible. We pray for the day itself of the election that your uh, Holy Spirit will be not only moving powerfully, but will make it abundantly clear uh, which man that you, you have chosen uh, for the position. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are worthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you for joining us for morning prayer on Friday the 13th. We will be having our Compline service. On Sunday, we are changing things up a bit. Our eight o'clock traditional service will be at eight o'clock. At 9.30, we're introducing a discipleship service featuring prayer and uh, Bible teaching. And then at 10.30 will be our second Holy Communion service. So the, the 10 o'clock service will shift to 10.30 uh, beginning this Sunday, the 15th. May God bless you and see you soon. Our normal morning prayer services will commence once again on Monday. God bless. <laughs>